the revered pages of the journal Nature, scientific reports reveal this April a deeply unsettling fact. Genetic material, and capped, in mRNA vaccines can integrate into our very genes. This chilling reality, combined with the disclosure from the South Carolina Senate by Dr. Philip Buchholz about DNA contamination in Pfizer's COVID-19 injection, suggests an alarming narrative, one where DNA integration may be far more commonplace than previously thought. The damage potential is both immediate and ominously long-lasting. While mRNA vaccines are programmed to generate a toxic spike protein impacting heart function, the implications extend far beyond. We are staring at a scenario where heart damage could afflict as many as 1 in 35 vaccine recipients, as highlighted in the Hatcher report. But, the peril does not stop at one generation. With the heritable integration of this DNA, we may have unknowingly bequeathed a legacy of genetic ailments to future generations, placing billions in the looming shadow of novel biotech experimentation's outcomes. Yet, one cannot help but question, how did we arrive here? Repeated assurances, which many clung to, claimed that mRNA vaccines would never integrate into the human genome. These concerns, when voiced, were brushed aside and labeled conspiracies. But no more can such concerns be stifled or dismissed, especially as the rate of DNA integration is now found to be as staggering as 20%. Moreover, the threat of turbo cancers, as they are now being termed due to their swift gestation periods, presents a new specter. Cancer rates, already on the rise due to vaccination schedules, now loom larger and more ominously. The integration of mRNA sequences is further compounded by the presence of plasmid DNA vectors in Pfizer's mRNA vaccines, as revealed in the aforementioned Nature article. It is nothing short of a global catastrophe, and yet, the world stands divided. Politicians, many potentially compromised by the siren song of big pharma's lobbying dollars, appear at best uninformed and at worst, willfully ignorant. For how else can one explain the glaring discrepancy between the emerging truth and the narrative peddled to the public? At the heart of it, lies a company, Pfizer, known to many, trusted by billions. Yet, as testimonies emerge and evidence mounts, one cannot help but question its moral and ethical standing. Were they truly unaware, or did they choose profit over public welfare? To borrow from Shakespeare, something is rotten in the state of our global health endeavors. The world may indeed never be the same, and as the pieces of this mosaic fall into place, we must not be mere spectators. We must question, seek accountability, and ensure such calamities are not repeated. Therefore, our greatest enemy is not just the lurking biological threats but the potential compromise of ethics and trust. And as we navigate these treacherous waters, let us remember, trust once lost is seldom regained.